Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and in this video you will learn how to curse in Russian properly. Russian curse words is like a science, because there's so much to them, there's so much variety to them. And just like any science, there is a theory and there is practice. But today, let's look at the practical application of curse words. And the reason why it's practical is because I went through all of my chats with the native speakers over the past year and selected the best curse words that either I used or they used. So it's actual real information, real usage of natives passed down to you. And by the way, I'll be cursing in English too, so just be prepared. Number one is Huli. Huli means what the fuck? Huli. Here is a screenshot right here. А то Huli, мне ждать, пока он выспится? So, should I fucking wait until he wakes up? What the fuck? Do I need to wait until he wakes up? It's a friend of mine sent it to me because one of our past colleagues used to oversleep a lot. The context was he needed a task to be done right that second. And then he says, А то хули, мне ждать, пока он выспится? Or, what the fuck? Should I wait until he wakes up? Like that. Хули in that sense means what the fuck. Or another example, you come to a party and you see a person that you hate. You say, Хули он тут делает? What the fuck is he doing here? Хули он тут делает? Хули means what the fuck? Он тут делает? He is doing here. What the fuck is he doing here? So, Хули means what the fuck? Number two is Нахуй. Нахуй means why? My friend sent me this. Нахуй ты спишь в 7 утра? What the fuck are you sleeping at 7 a.m. for? So, this word Нахуй here means what the fuck for? He wanted to play some games with me, but he is all the way in Russia. We have a huge time difference. So he asked me, Нахуй ты спишь в 7 утра? What the fuck are you sleeping at 7 a.m. for? Wake up! Let's play the games! <laughs> so, Нахуй can mean what the fuck for? Another meaning of Нахуй is forget it, to remove something. For example, we had this party um, kind of event, and we wanted to invite a professional services for, for for something and then we were like mm, it's kind of too expensive i'm not sure if the birthday guy will like it then my friend asks нахуй его forget him forget that professional or what right so нахуй его should we forget him should we just kind of throw him out forget about him нахуй его like that another application of this meaning can be like this let's say you're gathering for a party and you're going through a list of items to buy for that party. Okay, let's get pizza, let's get water, some beer, let's get some juice. Mmm, нахуй сок. Ah, no. Forget juice. We're gonna have water and beer more than enough. Нахуй сок. Forget juice. That's the second word, нахуй. Third is хз. It's a shortening for хуй знает, which literally means dick knows. But what it means is, I don't know. Хазе is almost always used as an abbreviation in text messages. Right here, you see on the screen right now, either I or my friends use them a whole, whole lot. Хазе. And you can see this message right here. Я хазе. I don't know. So think of хазе really as IDK. It's going to be used in the same exact way. Хазе. Я хазе. I don't fucking know. Next one is a very interesting one and such a emotional and meaningful word. Pohui. I don't give a fuck. Pohui. It can be shortened to just poh. My friend sent me a message like this. No mne pohui. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's the same context of that guy not waking up on time for work and he says maybe he has some problems in his life. No mne pohui. But I don't give a fuck. He needs to do his job. No мне похуй. I don't give a fuck. That was a quick one. And guys, by the way, if you want to know more curse words, we have a whole dictionary of curse words on our BFLearn platform. Right here, as you can see, there's many different lessons on curse words of different stamps of them and things like that. If you want to enlarge your vocabulary of curse words, check out BFLearn with the first link in the description. And you can learn it all for free right now for seven days with a free trial. Of course, we have other things regular courses that you can just learn regular Russian for your family and friends, 
learn how to talk to them properly with our Russian step-by-step -step course, with other things that we have on there. Check it all out right now. Try it out with the first link in the description. But I urge all of you to check out the Curse Word course. You're going to have a lot of fun and learn a whole lot more than in this video. Okay, check it all out with the first link in the description. Let's keep going. Next is Zabit Hui, which means to ignore something. Literally, Zabit Hui means to nail a dick. Okay, <laughs> nail a dick to the, to the problem. So I guess it means the same exact thing. Let's say I have a problem and I just hammer on a dick on that problem. Like, I don't give a crap about that problem anymore. And it means exactly that. When we have an issue or something, we can just zabit hui, just to ignore it. Let's say my friend is getting over his ex and I just tell him, Bratan, zabit hui. Bro, just don't even, don't even worry about it. Ignore it. Just forget about it. Nothing is going to change. Just forget her. Forget this problem. Забей Or here's a message of my friend who says, Забивает хуй на это. Just ignores this. The context can be anything. He has bad financials. Забивает хуй на это. He ignores that. He has friends coming over. Забивает хуй на это. Ignores that. It can be any context, positive or negative, for the better of, of your own sake, like to not worry about your ex, or for the negative of you, when you kind of ignore important things. It can be anything. Забивать хуй right here means to ignore something or to nail a dick. <laughs> Next is проебаться. And before we get into the definition, here's what ChatGPT says about this. The term проебаться in Russian is a vulgar slang term. It means to fail, to mess up, or lose an opportunity due to one's own mistake or negligence. In other words, to fuck up. Проебаться means to fuck up. To mess up, to miss something. Проебаться. Here's my message that I sent. У меня уроки прям подряд идут. Не хочу проебаться и пропустить звонок от банка и т.д. I have lessons back to back to back. I don't want to fuck up and miss a call from the bank, etc. So, проебаться here means to fuck up. I have lessons, I don't want to fuck up and miss a call. So, проебаться is used a whole lot to say to fuck up something, okay? The context can be, я проебался, I fucked up. We don't really say, I fucked something up. We just simply say, I fucked up, and that's it. We don't have like an object that we fuck up. So, я проебался means, I fucked up, I messed up. The next word is very common, пиздеть. Пиздеть has two meanings. Number one is just to talk. It doesn't have any negative meaning to it. Just a replacement of to talk. For example, my friend sent me this. Pizdim paka. I messaged him. I say, hey, we have a new hire coming in. Uh, what's what's up with him? How 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 was he? Was he good? Was he like polite? He responded with Pizdim paka. We are still talking. For now, we are talking. So he was still on the phone with that guy, and he said, Pizdim paka. We're still talking. It doesn't mean that they're talking a lot, too much doesn't have any of those additional meanings. It's simply a cursed word replacement of to talk. <laughs> but the second meaning, though, is to lie, to deceive somebody. For example, I can say, Я знаю правду. Зачем ты мне пиздишь? I know the truth. Why the fuck are you lying to me? So, пиздишь here is to lie, but of course it's a cursed word variation, to fucking lie. Зачем ты мне пиздишь? Why the fuck are you lying to me? Like that. And now you know seven crucial curse words or phrases that natives use a whole lot. And now you can use them yourself as well. Check out a full course on curse words with this button right here. Or keep on watching our YouTube videos with this next video. It's up to you.